Hi everyone, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on video of the build 14322. Here we are talking about the Windows 10 mobile build 14322 that Microsoft has pushed to Windows inside us in fast ring. And of course you can read the full change log by going to Nokia Power User. But here in this video we will be talking about only those changes which are not listed in the official change log. So starting with the first change that we see and which is a very welcome change is the go forward option. So if let us say we have uh, just navigated back from the page we were browsing then this go forward option comes handy and it helps you to go forward to the page that you were on pretty easy and uh, I mean this is surprising that this option was missing from Windows 10 mobile and people would uh, really appreciate if Microsoft can uh, give that swipe option swipe forward or swipe backward that was there on internet explorer but for now it's a welcome option welcome change and it was not listed so we covered it here apart from this if we uh, go to settings So here uh, in sim settings, okay, somehow I think it's missing here, but perhaps we can show it, show it on uh, other device. Okay. <clears throat> So here is a new option that you can see only 4G or 3G. It's also a new option, and uh, if you uh, if you choose it, it will say that your phone won't connect to 2G networks. You might not be able to call, text, or get an internet connection when there is only 2G network coverage. So 3G only was obviously a welcome change. Now Microsoft has added it. So <clears throat> if you choose only 4G or 3G, then uh, your phone will only select the 4G network or 3G network it will not connect at all to the 2G network but I mean that depends you can choose it or you can just choose 3G or 4G or whatever so this is one more welcome change that we could see and now coming to one more change which is a uh, obviously which was not uh, available earlier on any of the other builds as, as far as we know because uh, I mean some people claim it but here we are talking about the audio routing settings so the, you can see two options so choose where you want audio to play when making or receiving phone calls it gives you three options automatic bluetooth the device and phone speaker apart from that during a call turn on the speaker when i move my phone away from my ear so this is a very uh, welcome feature or something which i think was there earlier in the gestures beta but later the gestures beta is not now able to uh, get installed on Windows 10 mobile. So obviously Microsoft seems to trickle one or two features from the gesture beta. So here there is one feature that is there. So these are the three main things that we could notice till now and we have demoed it for you. So these are not it, uh, but they, these were not covered in the, I mean, in the, in the official change log. With that, uh, we come to end of this video. If we find anything else, we will again cover and demo it for you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.